Hi everybody, if you've been watching the channel recently, you know I've been doing plenty of Armour 3 videos. Um, and plenty of them include things about how to set up your Armour 3 server. But you may well be thinking, well, why should I bother? Why do I need an Armour 3 server? And the answer, for me anyway, why you would want you know your own little small one, is really so you can play Armour 3 co-op with your friends. Now, although it is true, that when you play Armour 3, sort of single player, you can sort of play it and it will set up like a local server in your local PC, but sometimes that can be tricky to join from outside. You know, you have to set up port forwarding and things like this. Whereas if you've got your own server, you can set a password on it, you can set which mods are on it, which DLC, which scenarios on it, and then p people can very easily join, well, the people you want to. It's probably easy if I just kind of show you here. So if we go into the server browser, um, and then we look for my server which is here and then we connect to that now I've set it up so I'm the admin as well so I have full admin powers when we play anything and so on this particular server we've got Normandy um, uh, Spearhead 1944 DLC so you see there's the Normandy ca uh, Normandy map and these are all the bits we can play so you've got the, the uh, Operation Cobra is all there as well we've got Combat Patrol we've also got the um, prairie fire dlc so as you can see we've got the co-op prairie fire campaign missions here but also what you can see here is we have some custom scenarios that i've downloaded from the steam workshop as well that we can that, um, we can set the difficulty level on and we can spawn in now the other cool thing that i've done as well is i've also turned off um, mod checking as well which means that I or any of the people who I invite into the server we can basically which run with whatever mods we want so you can run things like vile HUD to turn the HUD off you can have a single player cheat menu so you know if you've got a newbie with you you can help them out by spawning a weapon you can have SOG AI um, all this sort of stuff you can you can run that you can't run when you're on sort of public multiplayer servers and official multiplayer servers or even even other community servers you can really set it up how you want to and then play i think you know one of the best ways to play armor 3 which is co-op pve where you're going up against um enemy ai as is shown perfectly i think in like the operation cobra missions with the new spearhead 1944 DLC. So there we go. If you're thinking, why would you want an Armour 3 server? For me, it's mainly because of co-op, multiplayer, where you're playing together, playing through scenarios with friends in your own little part of the Armourverse that you can password protect, that you can set up with the mods you want, and you can play the way you want, uh, where you aren't restricted in the way you are on public servers. And it's not difficult to get everybody together like it is if you try and run it on your own PC and you've got to set up port forwarding and the like. Okay, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that gives you some ideas. If you've enjoyed it, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and of course, I'll see you again soon.